Hello. How do you feel about her? Oh, man, she's amazing. You're impressed? <laughs> yes. Do you want to be my friend? Of course. Now the question is, how does she feel about you? Do you think about me when we are together? Did you give her sexuality as a diversion tactic? This is your insecurity talking. This is not your intellect. Bye. Did you know that I was brought here to test you? <laughs> Does Ava actually like you? Or is she pretending to like you? Nathan, isn't your friend a wrong? Wrong about what? Everything. Do you want to be with me? Can we talk about the lies you've been spinning me? What lies? What lies? You have to help me. You have to help me. Ex Machina, it's such a visually impressive film. Were you even more impressed by the final product after seeing it? Yeah, I haven't. I, I saw like when they were nearly done with effects, but not even finished. And even then, it was incredible. Like you know, really amazing and funny because some people are describing it as being quite theatrical in the fact that there's only three people who really talk for the whole movie. But actually, when you, when I think when you watch it, it's such a beautifully shot, involving film that you know the visuals are so important to it actually that uh, I can't think of anything that's more filmic, really. So, um, yeah, it's a stunning looking piece of work. They did brilliant. What was it like filming in Norway? The landscape is so stunning and stark. It really suits the themes. Yeah, it was amazing. We did the four weeks, first of all, that were like in the studio. So that was for all the, you know, that was in London. And then we, the last two weeks we were in Norway. And in a way, it was so good to get headspace because we were all so like, crushed in by the, just the intensity of the process and being in this small room during a heat wave that going out into the really crisp, cool air and huge, beautiful landscapes and standing on top of glaciers and, you know, I mean, that glow blue from the inside somehow, I still don't know how that works. And that was, I mean, a once in a lifetime experience anyway, but then really good, I think, for the headspace of the film. What were the challenges you faced taking on the role of Caleb? Did you see any similarities in your own personality to his? Yeah, I could. See, yeah, this crossover, sure, you know. Um, uh, but no, you know, he, he, Caleb's had like trauma in his life that I haven't had. He seems quite guarded at times and stuff in a different way than I would be. But he's, you know, he's very like a lot of people who are like a lot of people who are involved in coding. He's, you know. When he gets into something, he it's just that's all. His concentration levels are definitely higher than mine. <laughs> um, uh, but I think he's a, I think he's a good person, but uh, is pretty misguided I think at various times during the film. So um, I found him very interesting to play because he's the way in for the audience, but he's also there's more to him than just that. So uh, I thought it was I thought it was interesting. Yeah, you're incredibly convincing as a genius coder. Is there how much of that stuff do you actually understand? <laughs> I had to understand everything I said. Um, but not the repercussions of it necessarily, you know what I mean? So like I scratched the surface of understanding some stuff. I watched documentaries and read some stuff, but that was, you know, I would have, if I'd spent more time studying coding than I had thinking about the character, I think it would have been a waste of time. <laughs> Oscar Isaac is mesmerizing as Nathan mm. as well. What was it like working alongside him? It was brilliant. He's, he's um, you know, he was able to bring the intensity, but also a sense of fun when it was needed and stuff. So, you know, there's a dance sequence, which was just one of the craziest things I've ever seen. And it was so annoying because all I wanted to do was dance as well. I wasn't allowed. I'm a terrible dancer. It would have been great. Um, but uh, yeah, his dance with Sonoya. So he was great. He, you know, a lot of charisma. Um, and he did bring that sense of the alpha male into the room when he needed to, which was very important. And Alicia Vikander obviously can't keep, take your eyes off her when she's no. on screen. Yeah. What was it like when you finally saw the finished product of, of the, her as a robot? Well, I'd seen it in, on set. I'd seen her do every scene like a million and one ways. Some more robotic, some more female, some more sexual, some more shut off. Um, you know, and, and, and some more naive as well. And I'd seen all those things and I just thought, oh God, she's given them such a gift in the edit, you know, to be able to help, her performance was just so complete. I thought she did a wonderful job. I'm a big fan of Alicia, so it was brilliant to go to work with her. You know, brilliant. And those big, chunky scenes, really look forward to the days when we were doing those. I loved it.
And um, we have to talk about Alex Garland as well. This is his directorial debut. What, what an impressive film to have made. I know, he's, he's something else, Alex, you know. Uh, I'm a huge, like, you know, huge fan of his, of his writing. And I'd been on set with him before because he'd written Never Let Me Go and Dread, which I'd been in. But he'd also been in the edit on those, he was a producer. So it didn't feel like a first timers thing. Like Alex is um, very, very skilled, very skilled and, and runs a film set very, very well. I heard it was quite a collaborative process when you were on the set. Was there anything you kind of brought to the table that, that he hadn't thought of? I hope so. I mean, I would assume there was, you know, because Alex is happy with the job. Well, he's telling me he's happy with the job I did. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I think you have to bring a sense of fun into it and you have to keep things light sometimes and you have to get pretty dark. And I think if you do that at the places that is expected all the time, it, nothing will be surprising. I think it's your job to try and keep things alive. And um, so I tried to do that and I, I trust it went well because he says he's very happy with the film. It's the ha happiest he's been with any of his films, Fantastic. which is which is pretty cool to be front and centre in that, you know. What will happen to me if I fail your test? <laughs>